You guys thought I wasn't going to play this game again, huh? See, you're complete. That is one thing that disgusts me about you. Your complete and utter lack of faith in me. You thought I was never going to play Subnautica Below Zero ever, ever again. Because I haven't uploaded in like, what, like four or five months? But we are back. Last time, um, what did I do last time? I went into the Crystal Caves and we, um... What else did we do last time? Uh, found that lady down in her base, I guess, and she had like a pet snow dog or whatever the heck it was. I didn't even know I had this, I didn't even know I had this room. Uh, still got the glorious sea truck outside Delta Station dock. Um, she was saying something about like a radio tower, I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly sure, um, if that was marked on my map. Uh, it was not. Awesome. Okay. Uh, um, oh gosh, there's a brute shark down there. Why don't I have that? I don't even have my headphones on. What the heck? I'm sitting here wondering why there's no sound. Like, I don't even have my freaking headphones on. But anyway, um, I do want to do a couple of things. Oh man, that freaking epic music kicked in. Um, I, I want to expand the base just a little bit. Um, I think that, I don't remember if, um, that lady had a large room. I'm actually going to, I think, let's see, I got the, uh, Got the fabricator module and the storage module. I'm not exactly sure if these are going to be useful on my trip. I am going to actually disconnect the modules. That way I'm a little bit more agile. I have 17 power? All right. Uh, never mind. Uh, first thing on the agenda is get more power in this thing. Let me see. There's a thermal plant, but I don't live anywhere where there's, um, heat. Actually, I could build my base in the vent gardens. I don't know. Maybe I'll build like a... <gasps> oh my gosh. Whoo! You got juked out. You got absolutely juked. Um, let's see. I, I do, um, well, I need to make a power cell. I need to make another power cell. I want to make two power cells. That way I'm all filled up. Uh, pause on that, by the way. Um, there's a rotten hoop fish. Um, I don't, you know what? I think I'm just going to chuck that into the bioreactor. There you go. All the useless stuff goes in there. Can I put this in there, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, put, put one of those in there. Um, I got a couple of ion cubes. Can I make... Um, I can't. Mark three. I got three nickel. I need two kyanite, though, and I forgot where I got the kyanite last time. I'm gonna put a couple of ion cubes in there. Can I make some ion batteries just yet? Um, I can't. Okay, what is this? Test override module? For the Delta Station Communications Tower Parallel Processing Unit. I don't know how to get any of this bullcrap. Um, it can make benzene with a flowering spore. Okay, so I need to make some batteries. I'm going to put all my useful stuff in here, like my gold, especially the gold. I don't know why that stuff is so hard for me to get. Synthetic fibers, the rubies, uh, quartz. Not sure. I'm going to keep the quartz, I think. Um, silicone rubber, power cell. I got two empty power cells in here. They've just been drained. So I need to get some titanium and some copper actually is there are there any batteries in here there are uh, not um shoot all right and i don't have any dead batteries i'm guessing i don't okay so where am i where am i gonna get a power cell charger from um it's a little confusing um i am going to get need some titanium though that way i can make some batteries and some copper so this is limestone and i got copper excuse me bro excuse me excuse me all right and I think I need, what do you need? I can, it's been a long time since I've played Subnautica. It's like freaking training wheels. All right, need one copper to make a battery and two ribbon plants. I got two ribbon plants, so all I need is one more copper. And uh, is that limestone? That looks like a limestone. Uh, please give me copper. Copper, copper, copper. Boop! Oh, uh, boop! There we go. Give me that copper, or oh, yes, give me that sweet, sweet copper. I came looking for gold, and uh, I, I, I don't find gold, because apparently gold doesn't exist in this game. But I did find copper, so let that be known. There is a ribbon plant. Yes, is that only one? No, there are two. I mean, good grief. Look at how freaking bright those lights are. Anyway, boom, boom. This is actually a situation. I'm just going to... I'm not going to mention that. This is a situation where... It would actually be good to have the fabricator module on, but I don't. So I gotta go all the way back to my base, and it's raining. Look at that. I just killed a fish. It's raining outside. That is something I do hope they have in Subnautica 2, is like a full-on, like, cool weather system. Because that's, that's one of the things that always confuse me, is like, 
There's hardly, like, there's, it never rains in Subnautica, ever. Like, like you, you'd think of that a planet covered in water would rain a lot, but it's, it's not even cloudy. It's clear skies. So, that is something that I do want to see in Subnautica 2 is a dynamic weather system. All right. Enter base, and I'm going to make two batteries. That way I can make myself a freaking power cell. That way I can get this thing some juice. And uh, which one is... Okay, that's got 25. That has zero. So I'm going to put that one in there. There we go. Boom. Sea truck got some juice now, and also he needs some health. Um, so I'm going to just repair this bad boy. Um... So, I want to head down where that Mar... I think your name is Marguerite or something like that. Or, like, <laughs> Marguerite, Margarita. Um, I remember how to get there. You ha you have to go into, like, the purple vent area, I'm pretty sure. Which is in the direction of the Delta Station dock. Also, there's a, um... I like, I like to call them... Oh, gosh, I need to eat, too. Frick. I... You know what? I am going to bring the fabricator module along with me. That way I can actually cook stuff. Um, while I'm in the field. So that is the one module that I am going to actually bring. And it's the back one, I am pretty sure. Yep, fabricator module. Alright, I'm going to wheel you. My gosh, that kind of scared me a little bit. Wheel you and just plug you in. There we go. And I didn't want to pilot that. Um, let me just... There we go. Alright, enter the sea truck. Boom, there we go. And got... What is in this storage? A almost empty power cell. Okay. Um, enter the sea truck. I'm looking for some fishies that I can eat and help me to sustain myself. Where, Whenever I see shrimpy, that's when... Okay, this is the Delta Station, which is an area that I do not need to be in. Yeah, look at all this, like, thermal power, dude. Dang, that would actually... Actually, be pretty nice to build your base here if there wasn't a freaking leviathan swimming around. It's kind of... Bro, get the frick out of here. I'm gonna flash my lights at you. Flash my high beams, bro. Get the heck out of here. Move! Alright, I think I'm gonna have to go up to the... The surface... The... The freak... The... 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 the get out? Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna have to go up to the surface. Goodness gracious, man. Please. Okay, I don't think there's an entrance that really goes much deeper. Dang, look at this big old boy. Look at this thing. My goodness. Move, move. Get. Whoa, excuse me. Freak, get back. It's about to blow. Ooh, it's about to blow. It's about to blow. Let me witness this. Boom. Look at that. My goodness. That's a lot of thermal power right there. Good gracious. Oh gosh, I think these are the crystal caves. I think this is where I got the kyanite last time. Um. I think I'm gonna have to just, I think I'm just gonna have to wing it and go deeper into this cave. Um, oh gosh, okay. I'm just gonna do it. Remember, stick close to the seafloor, and hopefully nothing will attack me. There's another piece of kyanite right there. I wanna go deeper in this cave, though. I wanna explore, man. Even that kyanite, though. Okay. Uh, there's lithium here. There's a ton of stuff. There's actually quite a bit of kyanite. I'm just gonna take refuge down here. I no, it's here. It can't fit down here, right? Oh no, it can. Oh, it's stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm just gonna keep moving. Hey, that was a lobster. Hey, Mr. Lobster. How you doing? I'm just I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm just exploring, exploring the beautiful crystal sea caves. That's all. I'm just I'm not scared at all. I'm just <laughs> Please! Oh gosh! Don't freaking, freaking stop! The health, the health of the sea truck. Oh my gosh! I gotta get to safety right now. Get right here. Park. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! That thing took off half my health. I need to get whole reinforcement on this. Pronto, dude. Oh my goodness. I don't even I, I can't even get the I don't even have the resources to build a moon pool. I <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, does this thing even use a moon pool? I don't remember how I got to her. Whoa! Steer clear of big boy. He's about to bust. Boom! There we go. I don't remember how I got 
to her house last time. Um, not exactly sure. Had the first encounter on Delta Island with the ship this weekend. The pilot last known position is two notches right of southeast. Oh no! I'm just watching a tutorial, bro! Chill! Chill! Ugh. Just trying to freaking find this lady's base, bro. Found it. Finally. Good freaking grief. All right, well, now I know where exactly her base is. Now, can I scan some of the stuff on her base? I can. Large room glass dome fragment. Give me that. And I also want to scan this large room right here. Boom. Large room. Nice. Oh, can I scan this moon pool too? Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Sea truck dock? Wait, hold up. Bro, 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 bro. Sea truck dock is a dedicated sleeve for a sea truck cabin. It's attached modules. It offers convenient dry embark disembark for the driver. The dock automatically services and charges the sea truck cab. Cargo handling remains the responsibility of Altera employees on site. Bro, that is awesome. All right, you can actually still see in there the doggy is still right there. Look at this little precious boy. Look at him. Look at this little precious. Got what I came here for. Now it's time to finally. I'm actually gonna get back in the sea truck and freaking leave because I freaking am about. So first of all, my sea truck's about to die. That's number one. Number two, my freaking. I'm I'm about to die of thirst also. So I gotta get out of here. I've just been eating gel sacks because they provide four water each one. So. That's pretty nice. Alright, I do need glass, which I, I do have enough quartz. So it's I think it's two quartz to make one piece of glass. Yes, it is. So two, four, six, eight. So I need eight pieces of glass. I have six, and there's two pieces of quartz here. So I actually have everything in the fabricator. I can make everything with my fabricator module, which is nice. I'm also going to grab lithium because I need that for the plus steel ingots um any more lithium around here that i can snatch up i left all of the lithium back at my base actually um so that's a bit of a problem um but i can make i can make the glass while i'm here i don't have any titanium though which is a bit of a bummer i just have a freaking three percent power cell which i didn't mean to pick up anyway glass uh one and Two and three and four. four pieces of glass. Now I just need three titanium ingots, which is 15 pieces of titanium. And I need lubricant, which is pretty easy. I need two lead, which I think I have back at my base. And... An advanced wiring kit, which is also two silver, which is also not super hard to get. So, I should be able to expand my base pretty nicely this episode. And, kaboom! Alright, now I can make a... Actually, do I have lithium in here? I do. Nice. Alright, four pieces of lithium. Two more titanium ingots. Two plus steel ingots. And also, I need to make the, um, the lubricant, which I'll go ahead and do right now. One more titanium ingot, and then I just need to make the two plus steel ingots, and then I have enough resources to make every- Oh, freaking grief. Feet food intake! Feet food intake! Take care of yourself! Shut up! Alright, let me eat Doritos and not drink any water. Alright? Let me just do that, man. But I did grab a couple of bladder fishes on the way here, so I can make some filtered water. Because I don't know why- How does this lady run out of water so fast? I don't understand how you dehydrate this quickly, bro. There you go. Boom. All right, now I can make all of this stuff. This is going to be glorious. Oh, yes, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. This is going to be so glorious. All right, where can I fit this? Can I not fit it there? Apparently, I can not. Uh, can I rotate it? Rotate. Uh, I gotta be able to fit this somewhere on here, right, bro? And then get the constructor, and not a moon pool, but a large room. Uh, gosh, this room may be too large, honestly. Uh, I still can't fit it, because the stupid twisty bridge is right there. Oh, I can fit it right here, though. 
Yes. Boom. There we go. Oh my goodness. Minus four to base hull strength. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, I'm going to put the hatch freaking right there. There we go. All right. Now I've got a freaking massive room. I may need to put reinforcements on this. So I'm going to go in here. Oh my gosh. Look at all this space. This is a base right here. This is what you call a base. Uh, anyway, lithium, and I think I can just put reinforcements. Yeah, here we go. I need three titanium? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Do I have anything in this wall locker? Oh, I do have, I have some titanium. Oh, would you look at that? I'm gonna put this reinforcement, uh, right here. There we go. Yeah, because this spot's especially vulnerable. There we go. Boom. That's a lot of whole strength. All right. Exit base. Now I can build this freaking moon pool, dude. Um, not exactly sure where I'm gonna put it, though. Uh, shoot, I built my base in a really awful spot. I'm realizing this. There's so many twisty things around here. Uh, I think I can put it right here. Yes, I can put it right here. And I'm assuming that the sea truck dock just attaches to this. Right? Does it just, uh, excuse me, where's my mouse? There we go, alright. Does it just attach to this? It doesn't really... It looks pretty odd. Not exactly interbase. Uh. Oh. Welcome aboard, Captain. That's interesting. Okay, nothing docked. Well, obviously. Open this. Uh. So. I'm guessing I just dock the sea truck through the back? I'm guessing that's what I do. This thing needs to be charged, bro. It, it looks pretty awkward. I will say that. I had to put it on top of the base. But do I just drive this? Just. Oh. Oh, wow. Huh. Would you look at that? And it drains all of the water. That is pretty. Oh, I can change the colors and stuff too. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what should I name this? Uh, the Ian. The. The Ian Mobile. There we go. And uh, I'll make the colors similar, I guess, to how my YouTube colors are. So, like, deep purple, I guess. Uh, like that. With some bright, let's see, bright yellow stripes with a nice black interior. And I'll have the name be white. There we go. So now can I... Ooh. Ooh, this is looking spicy. Look at that. The Ian Mobile. I guess this is pretty freaking nice. I don't know how much it's charging it right now. Um, oh, look at that. You can actually see it. That's pretty neat. And you can, oh, you can also put a hatch on there, too. That's nice. Um, so in order to actually enter it, I have to go in here and then through here. And what does it do? Oh, okay. It just kicks me out the back. Hmm. Okay. And it attaches all my, all my modules. This thing is basically... It's basically perfect. Alright, cool. Well, would you look at that. Base has been expanded. That is what I'm talking about. And with that, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. I'm actually going to get the whole base in view. That is where I'm going to leave this episode of Subnautica Below Zero. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. And if you do subscribe, please make sure to hit that notifications button on your way out. That'd be greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, peace out. Whoa.